Hello there, it's me, Jeanette. How are you? Hope you've been well. Long time no chat, so sorry about that. This month has been really crazy. Um, it was actually my birthday earlier this month, and so today I'm gonna be sharing a quick journaling layout uh, for like what I did, documenting, sorry, what I did on my birthday, which was amazing. I ended up going to this little town called Castleton, and uh, I went with my in-laws who were visiting and my husband and we had a, just a really nice day. It was absolutely perfect and so I wanted to document it. So I printed up some photos that I took on my cell phone and I printed them just on regular uh, printer paper, copy paper. <laughs> and for my pictures, what I do is to print my pictures, I import all of them onto a Word document and then resize them to like it's just a smaller size. I just kind of play with them and arrange them onto one page of a document like, you know, on my computer so that I can print just one sheet and I fit as many photos as I can onto that one page document. And I don't know, that's just the way that it works out. And I don't have any photo paper. Otherwise, I probably would have printed <laughs> these. It would they'd probably be better quality if I printed them on photo paper, but copy paper is just a okay. Now, just a quick note, I'm gonna be putting some washi tape a little bit on one side of my layout and then a little bit more on the opposite side of my layout. I like to keep everything balanced. But uh, the washi tape and the paper pad in the corner and also a die that I, I'm gonna be die cutting in just a bit. I got all these um, from my work. They are first edition and I believe that brand is only available in the UK, but uh, Craft Stash, which is where I work, did I already mention that? Sorry. <laughs> they ship internationally and I don't think the rates are too crazy. So if you're interested, I will have a link for you below. Or if you are in the UK, they offer uh, free shipping within the UK for orders um, for 15 pounds. I think that's like the minimum order amount that you have to order <laughs> and then you get free shipping in the UK. Now I'm using some of this gold washi to uh, not glue my pictures down there. It's just, I'm just using it as a placeholder. Maybe I might change my mind about where I'm going to place my pictures. And washi tape is great if you are having trouble as to where you want to put your pictures or your elements. You know, washi tape, because it's low tack, it's so easy to remove, to change your mind, and to not, you know, you don't have to fully commit to it. This six by six rose panel die is stunning. I love it and I'm not cutting a full six by six panel. I just want to cut certain sections of it because I really love the roses. And so once I get my little die cut, I'm going to remove the fallout and snip the just the excess around the one rose that I have and I love that this die is very snippable it's so intricate it cuts it cuts really well you know usually with intricate dies you do run that risk of <laughs> it not cutting well but I was really happy with it and I'm using the Sizzix fold away machine which is amazing I really like it it's this little like compact fold away um doodah <laughs> die cutting machine I don't know it's great. I like it. <laughs> now what also would have been really great is to die cut the whole 6x6 six six rose panel die and then just use that as a background because you know it has that intricate design and it's gorgeous but I opted for just these two single roses one on each side for balance and I'm really happy with it. Happy with how it turned out. Next up, I'm gonna be die cutting this alphabet panel die with some light blue in some light blue cardstock and I'm gonna be spelling family, fun, and yum. And what I love about this die set is that it's one single panel, which if you've ever had an alphabet die set before, sometimes the letters are individual. So there is a higher risk of you losing a letter and then having an incomplete alphabet die set. But I love that this is just one single panel. I'm not gonna lose any of my letters. I, I don't know, and the font is really cute. And this is, uh, I will have a link for you below, but it's only available in the UK. But again, the shipping isn't too bad. I wanna say it's it might be like $5.99 to ship uh, to the US, which is pretty good. So I will have that link for you below. It's um, part of, the die set is part of a box uh, boxed card making kit. So there's an embossing folder in 
uh, some stamps that go with it and some coordinating papers and also a magazine and ideas ma magazine on how to use all of your um, all of the things the supplies in your kit which is really fun but I just I love absolutely love that little alphabet die set now another great alternative for using like tram tickets or movie stubs or uh, brochures, travel brochures, or business cards of restaurants that you visit uh, or a museum that you attend. Like it's great if you die cut those with an alphabet die set or just any die set or maybe you have some cute little paper punches and they're just great like ephemera because they're like your souvenir so it's it's like a keepsake but it's also used in a unique way if you punch it with you know a heart little a uh, heart punch or um, if you die cut it with a die set with like an alphabet die set I don't know there's just so much that you can do so much more that you can do with just train tickets or um, you know what I mean instead of just keeping them whole and intact like why not incorporate those into your layout I think it'd be just make it more it would make it more personal and more meaningful all right, so now I'm just gonna glue down my little letters, my cute little letters with my liquid adhesive. And this is Cosmic Shimmer Acrylic Glue, which I will have linked for you below. This adhesive is one of my favorites. I don't know, I just like the consistency, the dry time, the fine tip on the bottle. I don't know, there's so many things I love about this glue. and. If you have a moment, I would love to know what your favorite adhesive is. I don't know if I've asked this question before. I may have, but it's just a funny thing to have an opinion about uh, an adhesive. <laughs> but I feel as crafters that we all have our favorites. So I would love to know, like, what's your go-to adhesive that never lets you down? And I know there's different adhesives for different things, but yeah, let me know about all your favorite adhesives. If you have a moment, I love to hear from you. So now that all my elements are glued down, I'm gonna do a little bit of journaling, a little note taking on these, uh, on the white spaces throughout my layout. And today I was actually talking about journaling with my friend and how much more I value it now as I'm older because I can't rely on my memory, I'm finding out. And also sometimes pictures, like you, you take pictures on your phone for posterity, but sometimes you don't remember other little details about, you know, your days or something that happened to you, like a memory, a happy memory on a trip, unless, uh, like I write it down. I don't know if you're the same way, but let me know what your thoughts on journaling are. Like, do you like it? Do you do it? Um, I feel like sometimes it's more of a time thing, you know, like it is, it is an investment of time to journal and to make time for that in your day but I feel like it's something that would be really worth it in the end so let me know do you journal do you not journal do you just take pictures <laughs> I would love to know I'm really loving journaling directly or writing directly on my photographs, like just finding a white space or a negative space where I can write directly on it. I don't know, I just really love that look. And I wish my pen was a little bit darker because I would, like not darker, but had a thicker tip so that I could write even more, like it would just be more visible, but it's just a fine little, like a fine tip pen. So it's not as effective as I would like, but still, not bad, I am enjoying it. <laughs> Ooh, I have one more question to ask you. Oh gosh, I've been bombarding you with questions in this video, but I really love hearing from you, like hearing your opinions and your take on things and your preferences. I feel like I get a better, like I can almost get a better picture of, of who you are, if that makes any sense. I don't know, it makes me feel like we're friends. <laughs> so let me know, my question is, let me know if you like your own handwriting. Um, I'm I'm not, I don't, I don't like mine. Like I, I prefer to not write in any of my journaling layouts, but then they, I guess they would still be journaling layouts, but 
I don't know, sometimes I would rather type something on a Word document and then print it out and then glue it onto my layout rather than writing on my layout, but I'm trying to um, get more used to my handwriting <laughs> and yeah, but it's, it's a process. And I feel like it changes a lot too, my handwriting changes. So let me know if you like your handwriting. Does your handwriting change? Has it evolved over the years? Are you a better um, handwriter, a better, <laughs> like do you like your writing more now or maybe when you were younger? I would really love to know, thank you. All right, friends, I am done with this layout. Thank you so very much for watching. If you'd like to see more of my crafty projects, then you can head to my Instagram account, which is Jeanette Lane Blog. And yeah, I guess I will see you all really soon. Bye.